Good morning, everyone. This is Kobe, your mortgage mogul with Bay Equity Home Loans. If there's anything I can help you with on the mortgage side, feel free to give me a call, 719-287-3228. Now that that's out of the way, Montana has officially become in the running for my three favorite states. We got Florida, we got South Dakota, and now we got Montana. Why Montana? Montana has officially said that they are going to stop issuing federal stimulus to disincentivize workers to go out and do what they need to do. If you haven't noticed, I go to Walgreens, I go past tire shops, I go past all these different places, and everybody's trying to find workers right now. And all these articles try to play, I don't know why people aren't going to work. Well, if you work out the dollar cost averages and benefits that you get from the package right now, you're basically getting paid $18, hours and $18 an hour to sit at home and do nothing. So instead of having to go out and get dry cleaning done, have to go go sit in the commute every day, we are seeing states and people choosing to make a decision that's based on convenience instead of being back in the labor force. Like I said yesterday, if you are a college graduate and you want to win, this is a great time to get into the market because people are just drunk on their welfare checks. They're not welfare checks. They're unemployment insurance so for people that are truly using those because they need it I, I'm at a loss for words to be honest you've been here for a year like figured out if you just lost it like last week okay I get it but at the same time I'm just really I like what Montana is doing by taking the time to say you know what we need to get people back to work it is not okay to have 7.9 million jobs in this country that are not filled because politicians wanted to do something to make it where people would possibly do more votes for them not caring about what it does to everyday business so i wonder if other states will follow i wouldn't be surprised if florida and south dakota and a bunch of these other states that are wanting to get their people back to work would be excited about something like this. Um, I think that it would help a ton. I think that one of the biggest things we're seeing is supply chain shortages like Tesla can't even get computer parts. They have to shut down their operations to keep building stuff. So it's there's just so many things that don't work when government gets involved. So what I think is really important for people to realize, if you have the ability to get a job, you really should take the opportunity to strike now before everybody else is forced on like June 15th or whenever they all run out to all be getting into the labor market at one time because then you lose the ability to have your choice. Right now, I'm gonna use my house analogy. Basically what we're staring at is there's a hundred houses on the market and there's only 50 people that are looking to buy because of the fact that 450 are at home. Whereas in reality, in the housing market here in Colorado Springs and other places around the country, there's 500 buyers looking for 100 homes. So now we're having to pay a premium. So long story short, I just got on my soapbox, I know. I think that people need to know, I like that Montana is forcing their people to not use the unemployment insurance. I wonder if other states are gonna follow. But before government forces you to do it, I significantly implore you to look at taking personal responsibility. And if you are not working right now, go find the best job that you can right now before the market just all of a sudden changes. I mean, on my side with labor, with trying to get qualified for a home, I mean, come on, if you can go find something that you can negotiate right now, you can be like, hey, I know that right now to be sitting on my couch, I can pay 18 bucks an hour. So you're sitting here trying to pay me 16 bucks an hour. So in order to have to deal with all the expenses and the fact that I am one of the only ones here, I'm negotiating that I would like 19. And there's probably 90% of them that are gonna be like, dang it, I don't have anybody else here. So just use it as leverage. like. It is okay to use every opportunity that you can. And that's why I'm here. This is why I do this podcast every morning because I want to give you the advantage. The biggest advantage right now is get your financial house in order. Get a job you really like, especially if you're starting out, so that way you can start building up your savings and reserves to get into a house. If you are currently in a job right now, do very well in that job and start putting money in the bank. And if you haven't taken care of your credit, let's talk so that way we can get it figured out. And after that, if you're in a home, 
Well, congratulations, because you're probably sitting on one of the most ridiculous amounts of wealth ever because of the fact that, especially in Colorado Springs, we just went from 410 average to 425 average. That is, tw and, sorry, median, not average. Average is at 487. And we are seeing an average of 18 to 20% appreciation year over year. You realize that is like 100 grand in your pocket if you just had a home at a little bit over the median price. So I just think that for me, I'm super excited to let everybody that's on this podcast to be like, oh my gosh, I am in a community of people that think like me, that wanna do really well, and I'm, here, I'm excited to be your guide. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna talk about some stuff. If you think anything I said was crazy or if you liked it, feel free to go into the comments because I want to help you. Until then, go grow and prosper. It is Thursday. Have a blessed day and looking forward to seeing you on the flip side.